Hello everyone, and it starts with a low frame rate. The stuttering that turns good PC gamers cruel. Okay, we have been cruel to this game. This is of course Batman Arkham Knight on the PC. We're trying to see how it runs uh, given all its updates and on the new graphics card. We're running an R9390X now. So as you can see from the Batmobile settings, and we were very cruel to this game, and rightfully so. Again, rightfully so, as I try to figure out what the buttons are here on the Batmobile. We're getting around sort of between 40 and sort of 50 FPS on high settings. Uh, the R9390X does have 8 gigabytes of VRAM, and we are using at least 4 gigabytes of VRAM right here just to run the game at 1080p and on high settings. I've turned off a few of the advanced features, I've turned off like chromatic aberration, uh, the Nvidia things, I'm trying to figure out the controls here, the Batmobile, the Nvidia stuff, uh, the Nvidia game work stuff uh, is off as well. Uh, also we turned things like motion blur which I don't like off, uh, but we've got, oh that was nice, Batman don't kill nobody. I think those guys died, they just took a rocket in a car, I think they're dead, I think they are dead. So yeah, I got back from uh, watching Batman vs Superman, I thought I'll, uh, I'll make a video on this, I'll make a video, I recorded this a few days ago, actually, uh, but I'd have a look and see how it performs. You can see here, it does quite well when we're outside of the Batmobile, where are those did the, the, the charging towards me, so yeah, Batman vs Superman, it got panned by critics. A lot of people disappointed in it. I should point out this video will not contain spoilers for Batman vs Superman. I thought it was alright. I thought it was, it was okay. I mean it wasn't... I, well, I didn't hate it, but I wasn't in love with it either. I didn't think, oh my god, it's the greatest movie ever, or oh my god, this movie sucks. I thought it was... meh. Meh. It was, it was okay. It was kind of a... I think we got what I expected out of it, and it really was all about the confrontation between Batman and Superman. That was it. That was what I wanted to see, and I left fairly satisfied with that. I thought it was decent. I thought that was definitely the best part of it, was the confrontation. Also, Ben Affleck was pretty good as Batman. Pretty good. I'm trying to figure out how to get this uh, challenge thing. I think I already did this in a previous video, but... I don't know, it's been a while since you've actually played this because it was so awful, it stuttered like crazy. Now it doesn't run perfectly, but we are getting a higher graphics setting and we're getting a more consistent frame rate because this was not, you know, it was not the best PC port. It used to be, it used to run at 15 FPS in the Batmobile, so it's doing a lot better than it was certainly. Uh, there's no massive stuttering, there's a little bit in the Batmobile, but it's the Batmobile is where the frame rate kind of sucked. But yeah, Batman vs Superman I thought was, you know, it was okay. It was okay. Uh, you know, was it as good as Marvel movies? Well, I'll be honest with you, I'm not the biggest sort of Marvel fan or biggest comic book movie fan. I think superhero movies are getting a bit tiresome now. I thought, I mean, Deadpool was the last movie I saw before Batman vs Superman and it was... I thought it was underwhelming, to be honest with you, Deadpool. I expected it to be better. I left Deadpool pretty disappointed, but I go into these movies as anything that's overhyped. Go in with low expectations. That's my advice. Uh, unless it's this bad of a PC game. Same with games. Games, movies, anything. Just temper your expectations. I'll show you the graphics settings now that we are running. You can see mostly on high we're using 3.9 gig of VRAM. Obviously I don't like film grain. I don't like chromatic aberration. Uh, I've got anti-aliasing on. Motion blur I don't like. And the Nvidia game work settings. I'm not changing the frame rate. Uh, frame rate locked at 60 because the monitor doesn't display any higher, so we're running mostly on high. Obviously, I'm not going to run the game works things. I'm on an AMD card there, but yeah, I mean, a lot of people set their expectations way too high for these things. I mean, Man of Steel wasn't great, 
So I I kind of based my expectations on man on not liking Man of Steel. I never liked its style. I never liked the way it jumped between time periods in Man of Steel. So I was like, mm, is this gonna do the same thing? It kind of does in a way. It does kind of jump around a little bit to an extent. But you know, it's uh, so I sort of had my expectations already quite low. So I wasn't overly disappointed. I did like Ben Affleck as Batman though. I thought he was one of the one of the better on-screen Batmans actually. Certainly uh, Michael Keaton is probably my favorite on-screen Batman. I thought he did both Batman and Bruce Wayne very well but Ben Affleck was pretty decent. There you go, we passed that mission. We got something or other. We're gonna go kill some tanks now. So this is a sort of Batman vs Superman review slash gameplay video of Batman Arkham Knight. This is turning into both here. Do both in one video. Multitasking, that's what we're doing. We're multitasking in this video. We're gonna go drive around with a low frame rate. Nah, Batman is though. But yeah, hopefully we won't run into any uh Aliens with a red cape on because that'll wreck her Batmobile. Oh, we ran into tanks. They're all right You know that that'll ruin your Batmobile uh, That's not really a spoiler because it happens in the trailer. That's the other thing. I don't like is a Lot of this movie was spoiled by the trailer. I thought a lot of uh, Batman Super Batman versus Superman Spoiled a lot of it in the trailer and it, make, it makes me kind of mad. I don't really want to watch trailers I mean the force awakens didn't really spoil much in its trailers. Force Awakens did quite a good job actually with its trailer in not really spoiling most of the plot points. I guess the worst offender for that was Terminator uh, Genesis, which you know gave its big put its big reveal in the trailer. Of course, that John Connor was the bad guy. Thanks for that. I don't have to go see the movie now. But if you saw the trailers for Batman vs Superman, there's not much more in the movie. You know, there's not much that you haven't really seen. There's a few cameos in the movie as well, which is interesting, little short, uh, it's like a little short trailer for other DC things. Again, I won't, uh, what the hell is this, it's a Steam challenge thing, but I won't, uh, I won't spoil them for you. Uh, but the cameos were kind of weird, and there's also no after credit sequence, I sat to the end and watched the uh, after credit sequence, and it's like, there's, there's nothing here, there's nothing here, but I think what the, what went wrong, with Batman vs Superman was certainly they tried to cram too much in. That is cheating actually, Batman with a tank. They just tried to cram far too much into the one movie. You know, it could have been took more time certainly to set it up. And I think they certainly did this in arguably the wrong order, essentially. They should have done a solo Batman movie. I don't know what I'm trying to do here. I'm chasing this thing and I think I've locked onto it. Uh, I'm not gonna go after that. I'm gonna go back, dump uh, poison ivy off. So, but I thought it was uh, the action scenes are really good as well. That's one of the things that does nail. Is I mean, it's all about the whole entire movie is all about the confrontation, the fight between Batman and Superman, and it doesn't disappoint. That's it. That's the whole movie was kind of building to that. And uh, you know, there's the fight as well with the uh, what's it called, Apocalypse. He was called, I don't really follow, I haven't followed Batman or Superman for a while, to be honest. I'm going to skip this part, and I'm going to go straight to the Gotham PD here. Uh, but, you know, that fight was pretty good with uh, Wonder Woman. She's pretty, she's alright in it as well. You know, it was like the three of them fight this big dude. So, you know, it was that was okay. I thought the action scenes were well done. The real, one of the really negative points Lex Luthor Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor not great he tried to play it like the Joker it's like is he trying to play Lex Luthor or the Joker here because you know it's like what are you trying to do here you know you're not Lex Luthor my favorite Lex Luthor uh, on cinema at least I like Kevin Spacey Kevin Spacey was good now Superman Returns not a great movie but I thought Kevin Spacey was really, really good in it. I like Kevin Spacey, you know. We played Call of Duty Advanced Warfare uh, for Kevin Spacey. You broke my wrist for nothing. Yeah, fuck you, Sunshine. Don't mess with Batman. I'm Batman, Sunshine. You don't mess with me.
All right. Lucky you weren't Ben Affleck's Batman, or he, he might have killed you. That's another thing again. Yeah, the body count in this movie, pretty high. Actually, it's pretty high. Batman does kill people. Get away from my car. Get away from it. Yeah. Okay, I ain't Ben Affleck, sunshine. That is that is one negative. Is there is quite a body count in the movie. I kind of lost count at one point, but it is a negative. Certainly, is Batman doesn't kill. There you go. We're back out into low FPS. Back out here. We got our little uh, little uh, booster here. So this video, uh, we're gonna go rescue some firemen. What we're gonna do? Because we're gonna actually try and save people instead of just murdering people. I get kind of lost here, trying to figure out where the hell is this thing. I don't know why I left this in. I edited out quite a bit of things where I messed up. We can go through here and then like, ah, the Ace Chemicals uh, railway car. There it is there. <laughs> See if we can figure out how to get there. But, you know, what did you think of Batman vs Superman? Because I thought it was okay. You know, it's not the best thing in the world, but again, comic book movies, I'm getting kind of bored with them. The yeah, no, I'm getting a bit bored, to be honest with you. I thought after Deadpool, I was like, mm, kind of getting sick of these now, but, you know, I'll probably go see uh, the third Captain America movie, I guess. Uh, the Avengers, the second Avengers movie, wasn't that great either, to be honest. I thought it was just, uh, just kind of a, kind of there, really, to be honest. You know, it wasn't as good as the first one. The first one was really good. I like that. But it's on tonight. Of course, recording this on a Monday night, and the Avengers is coming on. Uh, so I might sit and watch that after I uh, finish with this recording. You know. But it wasn't the worst Batman movie or the worst Superman movie. That was what I'm gonna say. It wasn't the worst. So this is more of a it's more of a Batman versus Superman review rather than a. Arkham Knight, but the Arkham Knight stuff is visual, you know, we're talking about Batman vs Superman with some uh, Arkham Knight in the background really, with some FPS showing there, so you can see it does run okay. Um, the R9390X is a bit overkill just to get this thing to run though. Um, it does run, it should run on the R9, the R9280X it ran around, I don't know, about 40 odd FPS average. This one runs around 55 average, so and on a higher setting as well. Then here, these firefighters are. Let's go and we'll take them down, or just jump through the. Let's go and do our big bat jump through the thing. Yeah. Missed me. Yeah, dodge that sucker. It's a special takedown thing. That's a special takedown. Oh, he snapped his ankle. That's it. Oh, that's a separated shoulder. Oh! At least he's not killing anybody. That's gonna hurt in the morning. Let's go and save this firefighter. So you can see in combat, it's fairly, fairly decent. It's not stuttering like it was. I mean, it was 15 FPS and it would pause and freeze for a bit. Uh, when it first launched. It certainly has improved. Is it a good PC port? No. Still isn't great because you need a sort of beefy card just to get it to run at decent settings. It's still way better than the PS4 or Xbox One version though which is 1080p or 900p at 30 FPS. I think the Xbox One one is 900p. Alright, these firefighters have no idea where they are, so that is all for this video, so thank you for joining me, and we'll see you again soon, and goodbye.